natural to feed your little babies, by the end of this video, you will be able to get five different ideas, quick and easy and super healthy, stage one and stage two, as well as stage three baby foods. Just a quick disclaimer though, I'm not a doctor nor a nutritionist. This is just what worked with my son and what worked with my family. This is what he liked when he was still eating puree foods and this is this these recipes were a sure hit. If you're looking forward to this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button and more videos like this will come your way. And without further ado, let's get started. We are going to be doing five different combos today. Like what I said, we are going to be using squash, carrot, sweet potato, avocado, and oats. I like cutting up my squash in small cubes because this way it is much faster to cook them. I am going to be steaming up the squash together with carrots to save up some time and this will take generally about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are soft. So we're doing recipe number one which is steamed squash and a banana. And I am adding up a splash of lime or you could also use lemon and I am using this to basically to act as a, a little preservative as well as to protect the color. Combination number two is banana and carrots. And just like the squash, I am cutting this in small little pieces for a faster cook time. I steam this with the squash for about 15 minutes. Add a little bit of water to thin out consistency and with all these recipes I'm showing you, you could also use your formula or your breast milk for a thinner consistency. And just like the first recipe, I'm also adding a splash of lime to act as a little bit of a preservative or um, to protect the color of the banana. Combo number three is sweet potato and banana. And I'm also chopping this up in small cubes for faster cook time. And this one will take just about 10 minutes. Next combo is banana and avocado. This one is a sure, sure hit in our household. Even my husband snacks on this. As 
splash of lime to protect color as well as added vitamin C. While this one is a favorite of ours, the only downside of this one is you can't really make this ahead of time and keep it in your fridge for a long time. The most I have kept this in my fridge is about two days because as everybody knows, banana and avocado doesn't really take long to turn brown. So I highly, highly recommend this one to mash up together real quick and consume right away rather than putting it away for a few days in the fridge. And the fifth combo of today is oatmeal and banana. And I just use a good old fashioned oatmeal and just cook it in the stove for about five to eight minutes until they're soft. And with this one also, I highly suggest to use milk instead of water for a richer taste and richer consistency. And again, I put a little bit of sl splash of lime to protect the color. I love using these jars because aside from them being glass and non-toxic, they also come with super cute lids that are BPA, PVC, and phthalate free. And it also comes with a non-toxic quick erase marker that you can just easily use to label your homemade baby food. You can just easily wipe it off with a damp cloth or rinse it and you can use it again and again every time you make your own homemade baby food. And I will sure to put the link down below and these are available on Amazon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Thanks. I will see you later.